Hey guys, you're welcome to the show called Moment Z. And of course, I'm your host, Kwelumi. And I have my girls with me. I have Amanda and Kemi. Hi, <laughs> 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 Let's move on to our topic of the day. Now, let's imagine that moment when we finally get our first job. It's a proud moment. It's a definite time in our lives where we step up from childhood and get a real shot at adulthood. Not only does it teach us the value of hard work, it also shapes our understanding of the world, increases our self-confidence and independence while earning good money. Cool, right? Well, does this imagination match up to reality? Today we discuss about our first jobs. What was your first job like? I was lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you guys for a fact, I was like, I moved into this new apartment in uni and as I was moving in, um, the, the receptionist said, oh, by the way, we need someone to be a night nice guard and to basically hold the key on the phone that the oh, ever on fire mind, I it was to mm. call the ambulance, wow. right? So literally all I had to do was keep a phone in my key in my room and they were paying me £100 a week. Wow, Fantastic. you were actually Free money. really lucky. I know, no, that's so I good. wasn't as lucky. I my know. first job was when I was interning yeah. in 300 level and I earned 8,000 naira. I don't know what that is equivalent to pounds. Yeah. Mm. Maybe like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I can't do the math right now. But it was 8,000 naira and that was it. And it was very boring and it was at an 8 to 5. And if you get there five minutes after 8, yeah. they deduct 500 naira. I, I, I literally felt oh. like they were using me. Yeah, they, they were. were. They were exploiting me. Oh. No, they were actually. Because now that you've just mentioned exchange rates, a pound right now is about 500 naira. Yeah. So that's about 500, 500 times 100. That's uh, what. <laughs> no, that's even less. But for oh, me, I think okay. my God, my math is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, of but us. for me, I, my first job was um, it wasn't really the office kind of job. Yeah. You know how a lot of us in school, you need the extra money. Yeah. So I used to do a lot of ushering jobs in school and when you do an ushering job for a weekend you get like 5k yeah. i don't know i think it has increased now to like 10 or 15 yeah. but yeah it was like 5k and then ah, i thought my one was bad no it was it was wow. it was an experience that hopefully i get to share when we continue the conversation but of course our guests will be joining us after the break <laughs> You're welcome back to Moment Z, and the conversation is about to begin. Now, our first guest is Kenechuku Nwatu, a Nigerian photographer and filmmaker. So he focuses on religion and subcultural themes with his two ongoing projects, People of God and Beauty in, and Soul. In 2017, he had his first photography exhibition with the Alliance Francaise, and he participated in the Trans-Nigerian Road Trip, Borders Within 2, by Invisible Border. So... Welcome. Thank you. Can you explain <laughs> people of God and uh, beauty and soul? Yeah. All right. Um, people of God is based on anybody that has a spiritual connection or you have a religion that you follow. So I've, I've always been interested in religion growing up. I, I've always been a church worker from the children department and my mom thought I was a pastor at some point Aww. yeah but uh, okay. maybe not yet maybe, <laughs> maybe not yet <laughs> i like how you said maybe not yet but so then, what was the experience of your first job my first job well i mean it it depends on what you say is your first job really because i've had several jobs mm -hmm. but the first ever that i felt like i was working was with my dad mm. when I was about 13 and I was on my JS3 holiday. So my dad was a filmmaker and I would usually go to his studio and he would teach me how to edit films and shoot with him. And I I'll, I'll do some jobs for him on the side. And I started from there. Eventually, after secondary school, I got this first, very I consider that the real first Coffee job because okay. I earned well from it. I was, Earning 50k at the age of 16. Wow! Wow! I was working for an IT company, and we were making, uh, what what do we call it? Uh, maybe like the curriculum, the teaching curriculum for lecturers at the university, Enugu State University of Science and Technology. What? Okay. Yeah, and I didn't have a BSc then, nothing. But then I was working with all these other people that were all qualified, and I just knew how to do the job, so I got it that mm. way. That's so cool. But what you've said now doesn't mean that uh, your first job is the one you start earning with because that's you said what, that's what I consider my first job so a lot of people that are interning and are not being paid is that not a job is that a job well yeah. I mean that's an experience I would say I'll mm. call that an experience because 
Working with my dad was more of an experience than a job. Welcome back to Moment Z. We are still chatting about our first job. Now, joining us in the studio is Shuagwe Damak. She's the CEO of Maxi Stitches and founder and president of Arm the Child Foundation, an organization that provides free quality education for internally displaced people and vulnerable children. Wow. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more about Arm the Child Foundation? I would love to. Well, Arm the Child Foundation actually started off as a project. Um, I belong to a book club in Abuja. So Children, they would say to visit this orphanage in one remote part in Abuja, Kujie actually. And on getting there, interacting with the children, I discovered that their communication skills are actually poor. So I decided, okay, I spoke to the woman, I want to volunteer to teach them English every weekend. But then she said, you just got scholarship to send them to school. And I'm like, okay, I can start with IDPs. Every weekend, I'll go and teach them English. Well, along the line, I decided to give them something systematic, something they can hold on to. I decided to have a summer school for IDPs, and internally displaced persons actually, and vulnerable children in Abuja. I mobilized volunteers online, we had the training, and then the summer school commenced in July last year. Now at the end of it, I discovered that some children performed really well, so I wanted to continue, like there mm -hmm. should be a continuity plan. Then I decided to register it as an as a NGO. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is pretty That's impressive. So that is so impressive. But you mentioned Thank that you. you were working while doing that. Yeah, I was actually serving. And where I was, I served the central bank actually. And it didn't allow me to go there all the time. But then I partnered with some other non-governmental organizations that stood in while I, I couldn't make it to the mm. venue. So was but that your first job? No. What was, what your, was first your first job? job? I had my first job at 17. I was a volunteer actually. People don't consider that as first jobs, but I do, because, I mean, it has brought me far. Because as you said, a lot of times our first jobs, we're doing the menial tasks, yeah. we're getting coffee, we're buying food, we're not yeah, actually getting, getting the that. experience. Then you find ways to balance it out, and you, huh. can, you have the right to say no. Yeah, I was going to say you that. You have the right to say no. For Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, well, did. apart from no, I feel like what you give is what you get. Huh. Some people, like... For people that start working at tender age, let's say 16, 17, 18, even if you're young, I feel mm -hmm. like you act the way you want people to treat you. I mean, the first time I went to my office, I saw how they say, you, go and buy roasted plantain for me, you, go and, and I'm like, okay, this is not why I'm here. I actually want to learn. I like it when people engage my brain. I learned a lot. It allowed me, you know, get used to the system of the organization. So the way you behave is how you get treated. For some people, yeah. their first jobs are actually not in a corporate organization. Like for me that I said, my first job was in an ushering job, was mm -hmm. an ushering job. It was an agency, yeah, but we're doing that. And then it was so annoying how, because I think generally people look mm -hmm. down on that particular yeah, type job. of job. Mm -hmm. So for example, they will say, oh no, you can't go to the toilet right now because the guests are the first to use the toilet. And we're like, but well, we have to change for this job and then i remember a time when someone was like you know what see that's the table we've already kept the what do they call it the tablecloth and everything just go under the table and change what and i'm serious <laughs> no legit and a lot of people are doing that you get and how do you put up an attitude because then they're like oh you know how nigerians are yeah. you don't respect so for someone and in my head a lot of people felt like i didn't have anything because i was doing that kind of job but i still had career goals in me yeah. now for someone who has to do that because they need to make money how do they now gain experiences to now help them Achieve in the their real career, career goals. goals that they want to do? I can, I can say for one that when I became a freelancer, so, something similar to that, you know, being a freelance photographer in a city like Lagos, I didn't realize prior to coming here that people work for exposure. Mm. And that was a new thing to me. And someone says oh you take really good images or you make really nice videos come and do this for me but i'm not going to pay you Collab I, I didn't understand that but then <laughs> i did it for a while and the only thing i could learn from that was poverty <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth because you're working that for exposure for so long you can't afford to eat you fall sick yeah. you can't afford to transport yourself you can't afford internet data you know all these things come you just have to learn from the experience. How long should you drop your pride for? Like, how long should you stay in your first job? Like, mm. what's the range? <laughs> I mean, I would say one year. Depending in your first on, job? Yeah, depending on your sustain. Some people can stay longer. Some mm. people 
a lot of people really don't have ambitions, so they can just manage true and just <laughs> <what Like people. laughs> yeah. yeah. For real, for real. I have met a few people. I have met a few people, so like that. Yeah, for okay. what of you, how long do you think you're staying in your first well, job? Well, I actually don't have a range, but I feel like when you get what you have been looking for. Yeah. But what if the job has like prospects of promotion? Okay. Do you leave because so you weigh, my first you job, I your need pros and cons you. now? I, I would say a year. And if it has prospects of promotion, two years max. Because if in two years they don't know if they want to promote you, my sister. <laughs> I think that's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a waste of time, honestly. I think we can do three months here, one month there, two months there, and just get a in lot different. of experience. Yeah, that's how I did some of my first jobs. It's been a fun discussion. Thank you guys exactly. so much for coming. Thank you, Kenne, Thank you. for sharing your experience with us and then thank you shwagwe yes. shwagwe 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 oh, your name Just is so interesting shwagwe what does it mean shwagwe happiness has come oh, oh bless. happiness has come that's so cute thank you guys thank so much for coming and sharing your happiness with us Welcome back. Now it's time for us to wrap up the show in a nutshell. But first, let's see the results of the poll that we ran online. My first job experience, just their horrible, boring grades. Great, 48%. Wow. Ah, it's interesting wow. that people say I know, great. Great, I know. Like a lot of just people there. Are... I think I'm in the just there. I think I'm in the... That was great. <laughs> oh, <you're> great. <laughs> I think we have a lot of different people. Great. Just, just there. there. I think mine was horrible. 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 Oh, yeah, but uh, in a nutshell, I just feel like your first job is what it is. Your first job, you, at a point, you should leave after you've learned. Because I feel, I've, and I've met people who are still in the same places that they had their first job, and they've not been able to redeem themselves, where people get to see you as a normal employee. They still see you as that person that came in clueless. So mm. I feel like a first job, Excuse you should me. always leave. Yeah, so after you've learned, pack your bags, get a new job, or start up your own business. Okay, so in a nutshell, uh, I would say, no, I wouldn't say always leave. Yeah, same. Because if it's a good job and if, if it has prospects, then yeah. you don't really need to leave. But I would say that you have to know, you have to actually check yourself if you're learning something. Yeah. So if you check yourself every six months, what am I actually gaining? Yeah. And if you're gaining stuff, stay. And yeah. if you're not, then you can move. Yeah, I think, I think I agree with that because my dad has been in the same job he was in since he graduated from uni. <laughs> so that today. probably wasn't his first job. I, I think mean, it was, maybe he was helping watch his dad's kind of so that's being one. I don't really <laughs> think he had it first. He might have it for NYC. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think he was working Your dad's going to hear that. I know. I know. Sorry, dad. <laughs> <laughs> so in a nutshell. So that's the nutshell for me, really. But it's time for us to go, guys. But we're still with you on all our social media platforms. So hit us up, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, <laughs> we don't have a Snapchat, but you know. Anyway, we can't wait to see you guys next time. But until then, don't forget that everyone, everyone deserves, deserves a moment, moment so go, go get yours. yours.